What's up, guys? So, let's go over the Green Goblin one more time. And uh, the reason I'm going over it one more time is because last time I went over it, I really just went over the skin and maybe the black bling and stuff like that. And this is before I knew about the... Well, uh, it, it could either be a built-in emote or just an emote for anybody. We will see, though. So... Let me re-review sort of kind of it, uh, the skin now. So, honestly, now what do I think about it? I think um, if it wouldn't have came with the emo and stuff like that, if it would have just been the skin and the pickaxe and the glider and back bling, without the emo and the, you know, the wallpaper or the loading screen, my bad, loading screen, I think yeah, I definitely would not get it, but since they showed that it's going to come with the emote and the wallpaper and stuff like that, um, really, I will mainly, if I do get this, I will mainly get it for the glider specifically, if it works how it should, like with him being on top of it and gliding like that instead of like, you know, holding it over his head or whatever. If it does, I'll have to... I'll have to see if somebody show uh, plays with the skin and the glider. And if it does like it's supposed to where he stands on the glider while gliding, then I will definitely get it more than likely now. Because I don't want to just buy the glider because that would be more expensive to buy the glider than to buy the bundle for like basically a lower price. Really... I'm really just doing this for the uh, glider, though, but and also the emo. But uh, the skin is pretty good. We do not know 100% when this skin is coming out. I'm assuming that gaming series skin, that uh, I don't know if y'all seen it. I forgot what it's called, and I don't know what it is because I don't really care. Uh, but um, I think that skin, that gaming series skin, will come out before this. And we still haven't seen the MJ, the red hair MJ skin. And we have not seen anything about, uh, we haven't even seen any more Spider-Mans. Because I'm pretty sure that we're supposed to be getting a Spider-Man skin, MJ, and Green Goblin all at the same time. Which would probably make this be the Spider-Man item shop. Which would, which would also, what would also be in the Spider-Man item shop is the Spider-Man from Homecoming and the Zendaya skin. Now, what else could there be? That's like uh, Zendaya, No Way Home, uh, Green Goblin, MJ, and then one spot. That's five whole skins, but I'm sure it'll only be about three or four bundles, which makes the shop a little bit less. But, um, honestly... Uh, what we need is, uh, it could also be like Toby and Andrew, somebody uh, somebody I played with today. He's commented on my videos. Um, um, he said that we, a good bundle would be a Toby and Andrew bundle. That is possible, but um, I think. But uh, like the, some people have said or they've shown that Fortnite said there's going to be one more Spider-Man guarantee. Now, technically, like I said, Miles Morales really ain't Spider-Man. I mean, of his universe, I guess he is, but technically not, if you think about it. He's like Spider-Man 2 or whatever. He's like his own Spider-Man. He's not THE Spider-Man. Now, I wish they'd be more specific on what they mean by Spider-Man skin, like THE Spider-Man skin, or like just a random Spider-Man, whether it's... Uh, Peter Parker or not because Spider-Man in my eyes is Peter Parker not Miles Morales not Gwen Stacy not whoever else is Spider-Man so honestly if we don't get a Spider-Man item shop it, it, then it's uh we I don't know I think they're withholding the Spider-Man item shop that's probably why they haven't put the Green Goblin out yet they're trying to get the MJ skin together. Maybe they're trying to get Toby and uh, Andrew made. Maybe the, but uh, Miles Morales skin should really come out in, what towards October or something like that. Whenever the new Spider Verse or mo mo into the Spider Verse or whatever, whenever that movie comes out, I think that is when uh, Spider Man Miles Morales skin should come out along with. 
whoever else is in it, like 2099, Spider-Man, Spider-Gwen, uh, Miles Morales skin, and Spider-Man Noir, maybe, and, um, uh, I don't think Spider-Pig could come, maybe it come as a back bling, um, and maybe, like, uh, a robot spider, the spider girl with a spider robot or whatever, that could also come. Now, I don't know what else could come. We could, we should also see like maybe a Doc Ock with the Green Goblin. I don't know if that's possible or not, but we will see in the in the end. Well, but um, honestly, if we don't have a Spider Man item shop, I'm really gonna be upset because it was leaked. Uh, a while ago, it was leaked last year, right before we got the Spider-Man No Way Home bundle. But, um, the reason Spider-Man No Way Home, I think, honestly, the Spider-Man No Way Home bundle was supposed to come with, like, Green Goblin. And, well, maybe not the whole bundle, but they were supposed to be more with it. But since it was Christmas and they want to do Chris, uh, Winterfest stuff, they just had, they just put it in there with that. Instead of putting it in like a Spider-Man item shop. I think the Spider-Man item shop was supposed to come during Christmas. But they had Winterfest going on. So honestly if we still get in a Spider-Man item shop. Um, then that would be great. But if it comes with no Toby or Andrew. Honestly I'm going to be very disappointed. I am like because technically Toby is in the Fortnite uh at the Daily Bugle, the picture, and a lot of people, so a lot of people are saying that the uh, Spider-Man in the Battle Pass is Toby or Andrew. No, it's not. It is the comic book version. We've got the comic book version and Tom Holland's version. So we're just missing Toby and Andrew, who are the other two big main ones. So do you guys let me know what you think? And are you gonna get this bundle? Are you gonna? Do you want this bundle or not? Uh, honestly, if it's over 2400 I'm definitely not getting it. If it's 2400 I may just get it. If it's 2200 or 2300 that's almost a guaranteed. If it's 2000 which it will probably not be, it will be in the range from 2000 to 3000 I don't think I've really ever seen anything for 3000 so that's why I'm saying in the range of that. If it, it could be 2800 but... um. The new Hawkeye bundle, which I do not care about, um, is a pretty good price. It's 2,400 V-Bucks for eight items. So that's why I'm saying I'm hoping it's at like, because you're only getting, let's see how many items. You're getting one, two, three, four, five, six items. So it should be probably around 2,200 V-Bucks if I would have to say. That's two less items. So I will see you guys in the next video. Tell me, leave comments if you want and... Uh, bye guys.